Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today guys we'll be installing and reviewing IKEA dash camera, mirror dash camera. It's amazing guys. Uh, this camera is so cool. It has GPS, G sensor guys, uh, parking sensors, all that stuff. Stay with us, we'll put it to the test. It's extremely good size mirror that turns into a camera, okay, with integrated touch screen as well. All that will be covered in this video today. You will not be disappointed for any of you looking for a good dash camera. So what do we got in the package guys, the, I, uh, the uh, AQ guys uh, V360 ST, okay, this is uh, the package right here, uh, everything is packed really well, this is the mirror itself, the first impression when you grab it, uh, it's well built, it's not cheaply made, it's heavy, it has amazing rubber mounts, soft on the back, that's the 360 camera right here. Okay, that has adjustable angles. Okay, and that's the mirror itself. Okay, now uh, what else we have here? Okay, let's check now. If we come right here, you have quite a few guys hardware, by the way. So you will have the main cable. This is uh, the cigarette lighter cable for the for the um, uh, camera. This is the rear camera that we have right here. Okay, this is the rear one. You can see that's uh, what it looks like. Really easy to install, by the way, and you can adjust the angle by simply turning it. And we have a few more things here. This is uh, the side camera that you can use over left or right side. And also, guys, you will have some mounting hardware. Uh, you will have the GPS device that comes right here. You will have a plastic panel removal too, straps. Uh, double-sided tape okay and uh, actually you can see right here uh, this is uh, really uh, handy you can feed all the cables through that seal and put them on top of the windshield so nothing will be visible practically so we installed everything guys let us show you now the mirror is installed we fed all the wires so everything is out of the way so if you come right here now you can see what we have there the mirror the wires are under okay under here under the cover they go around the gps is placed right here okay and then it goes all the way under here okay under the covers and it comes towards the back okay let me show you it comes to here the cable then we fed it under here it comes all the way to the side and then it comes to the back and that's the uh, rear camera okay right there that's where it's installed we might need to uh, position the angle later okay see where exactly it records and uh, i think i think it will be good like that so let's go ahead okay and uh, <coughs> show you the side camera we did not install okay i'll show you how it works but uh i really don't need it on this vehicle to be honest with you that's a side camera i will go ahead and put it on plug it in so you can see what it looks like and you can make it to work with the turn signal or reverse okay so you can clearly see what's happening so i'm inside the vehicle now and i'll turn the ignition switch on okay perfect you can see okay it will turn on now uh, you have different modes guys okay it says that we can connect uh, uh, the video channel number two this is for the side uh, camera now i can click here twice and we can go to the reverse and you can adjust it as well or uh, we can uh, select okay right here we have the white angle on the front okay this is the white angle and we can switch to different positions too guys uh, we can have okay i have to stop recording and uh, if you go right here you can have uh, 360 degrees like that or you can have three different cameras okay on the sides okay and the rear or you can have guys another more where you have four cameras on the front okay check it out four different cameras okay for the sides okay both sides the front rear everything but uh, what i like the best okay is the single angle okay and i need to adjust it the wide angle like that 
and the rear one as well. GPS is right here, it's connected. It, uh, we have it set to show the speed, quark, date, all that stuff. So uh, let's go ahead, okay, and show you. If we plug the third camera, okay, this is the third side camera here, guys. Okay, you can install it on, under the uh, right, uh, uh, right mirror. When you do that, okay, well you can set it to where you can use it with a turn signal or with reverse. Okay, and that camera. Okay, we'll be uh, working too, guys. Okay, you can see. Let me just go ahead. Okay, position it. And you can have, okay, that camera plugged in as well, guys. All of them at the same time. So, uh, now, in my opinion, okay, I will not be using this one because uh, I like the way it looks with the two cameras the best. That's my personal preferences. But for safety, the third one is a great, great plus, guys. So uh, let me show you now, you can definitely see guys the speed that I'm driving with. Okay, right here the phone has uh, all the reflection now on the camera, but it's very accurate. The GPS, the position as well. Uh, you can use the rear view mirror feature as well and see the camera too. So that's amazing guys. Okay, let's go ahead, record some footage and see what it looks like now. I made it to where the screen will turn off after about one minute and it did and you can see uh, it's amazing now just like regular oversized mirror that gives you quite a bit of uh, visibility as well. So definitely guys, this is a product that I will recommend. Uh, definitely something that I would buy myself. Uh, uh, you saw the footage is pretty clear. You have front, rear, you, you can divide the front camera in four different positions as well. So that gives you five camera options, plus the side camera if you want to install, that will be number six, which is amazing guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.